Hey everyone, this is a designer's collection study series where we will render sequins and beads and ostrich feathers, the two main highlights of this beautiful design by George's Hobika. While illustrating such complex designs, it's better to first break it down into the key elements and here I am first going to render the fabric color first which is in creamish nude The first key element in this design is the ostrich feathers and I am using some shades of pencil colors in pink and magenta to illustrate the feathers. You can see the direction of the feathers which is not towards a single direction and uh, that's how you're going to move your pencils. It's a bit time consuming but the results will be amazing. While using pencil strokes, applying pressure is a key element because if you are using very light hands the strokes will be lighter in color and if you are using very much pressure with your hand then the strokes will be darker so that's how you can manipulate the tones and uh, this will give a very realistic touch to your ostrich feather look With the black pencil, you can apply some dark tones to your feathers and uh, this will also enhance the curves and folds of the garment. Let's move towards our next element which is the sequence embroidery. As you can see these are placed in vertical stripes and with the help of a pink color pencil I am just giving light strokes to give a direction to the sequence work in the garment and slowly you can build the intensity but first use very light strokes to understand the rendering of the fabric the sequins are reflecting light 
and there is lots of shimmer you can see shades of black gray pink and white dots so to break it down let's begin with the black shades which i am applying in tiny circles Next I am moving towards the pink shade. See the direction of the flow of the sequence which is in the horizontal stripes. So building the intensity slowly and drawing the sequence individually is the key if you are going to illustrate this kind of designs. If you are drawing something which is a sequence garment and if the dress or the design is totally covered with sequins, you can use mediums like watercolor as well. But in this garment, the sequins are only in certain parts like the horizontal stripes so here you have to give little extra time and uh, now you can see I'm adding some tiny little dots which is a white shimmer using some white paint Now using the similar technique as well, I am drawing the shimmers in the lower part of the garment as well. I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, you have enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed in illustrating this. A very important tip I would like to share with you guys is that while you are illustrating colors in lighter tones like this pink use the gray shade for the shadows and if you are using something in darker colors like red and blue or anything which is very dark so use black for the shadows so here i am using a very light gray pencil to apply some shadows and folds in the garment so while illustrating complex designs first we should break down the key elements and go step by step so yes see you in the next video till then take care everybody